Alright, I wanted to make this quick video because I just stumbled upon something interesting in Skellige and I still have to make a couple more videos about Blood and Wine, even though I said that the last one was final, and then I'll be going over White Orchard and Velen, so who knows when I'll get the time to dedicate myself properly to Skellige again, and honestly I just did not want to wait that long. So here it goes. You remember that video I made some time ago about the deaths of Ceres and Yalmar? In case you haven't seen it, to quickly recap, they basically end up fighting Nilfgaard and perishing if you either refuse to help them solve the Berserker problem or if you skip their personal quests altogether. In that case, Svanriga becomes king and the Jarls are seen marching out to battle. And so if you go down to the docks of Kertrolda afterwards, you can actually meet several of them, including Krach, and he will then mention his children's deaths. Yalmar and Ceres showed us how to die like heroes. Can't say how sorry I am about your loss, Jarl. They died a good death. But what I hadn't noticed back when I made that video was that Udalric was there as well. You know, the same Jarl that Ceres was trying to help? And it turns out that she couldn't help him on her own, and he's still possessed by the Heim. Remember me, Jarl? I remember, Geralt, I remember. Forgive me, the gods speak. You can even see that it still replaces his shadow. Which, by the way, is also visible while you're doing his quest. So that fact was kind of curious on its own, but upon seeing it, I instantly started thinking that there has to be another, potentially even more unusual variation of these events, where it's basically the same, except he's actually cured. I thought that technically it should be possible to do Ceres' quest, help her banish the Heim, and then simply continue with the main story by skipping Yalmar's quest, which in turn would result in neither of them being able to become ruler of Skellige, and eventually they should both die while Svanriga becomes king. And so you should still be able to meet Udalric at this place following the exact same events, except since you will have completed Ceres' quest, he would have to be fine. Now, fortuitously, as Avalach would say, it turns out that I had just the right save to test that hypothesis, and what do you know, it's actually true. So I loaded up a save where Ceres' quest was done, but Yalmar's wasn't, I went through the Battle of Kaer Morhen, plus a few additional things, and there we go. Svanriga becomes king, the Jarls head downstairs, Udalric is there as well, and in perfect health. Geralt, friend, what brings you here? What do you think of Skellige's new ruler? Worst possible claimant one. We'll all regret it, mark my words. Farewell. Ah, so it seems that if you wish to get an ending where Svanriga rules Skellige, even though it is quicker not to do Ceres and Yalmar's quests, it is actually better to at least deal with the Heim first. It's sad that Krach's children will die anyway in that case, but at least you can help Udalric before that happens. And as for Yalmar and his quest, well, if you skip it, he does end up returning from Mundvik somehow, but I'm not sure what happens to his mates. You know, the people who are stranded with him? Do they live? Do they die? Perhaps it's a subject for another video. But for now, I believe I'm done. And with that said, I'm on my way back to finishing the final final details of Blood and Wine now, which is mostly your fault, actually, for sharing all kinds of things I didn't know about. So until then, thank you very much for watching, special thanks for your support on the YouTube memberships and Patreon, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good. Aye? How are things on Pharaoh? There is always. It's pissing buckets and fucking freezing. See, you're bursting with pride. No use couldn't seal shit with honey. Pharaoh is a rock overgrown with pines, but with no need for more. Can't eat pine wood. But use it to build a long ship, and you'll eat your fill of what others have grown and bred, after you've taken their wenches and their gold, burned their homes to the ground. That's how Clan Dimon lives. Mm -hmm.